give the output signal for the circuit. So we have here the input signals 1 and 0. So to start off, I like to write them down uh, over here. So we have P is 1 and Q is 0. And then you just work um, left through right. Let's start by looking at the AND. So we have 1 and 0 going into the AND gate. So I like to think about mathematical logic. So you can think of 1 as being true and 0 as being false. And so when you have something that's true and something that's false, and then you take the AND of that, uh, it's only going to be true when both are true. So in this case, we have 0, so this should be a false result. So the output is 0. So when you have a 1 and a 0 entering an AND gate, you're always going to get 0. The only time uh, an AND gate will produce uh, uh, a 1 is if they're both 1s, and that will give you a 1. Same thing in logic, right? If P and Q are both true, then P and Q is also true. So same idea. The 0 here is entering the NOT gate, so uh, it just turns it into a 1. If you think of 0 as false and 1 as true, it turns false into true. Again, just thinking of it from a mathematical perspective. And then the last thing to do is uh, figure out what happens after we go through the OR gate. I forgot to put the, a variable here, so R. So going through the OR gate, uh, we have 0 and 1. So OR is true if at least one of them is true. So we have 1 and 0. So 1 is true, so the output is 1. Again, think of 0 as false and 1 is true. OR in mathematics is true if at least 1 is true. So OR is basically always going to be 1 unless they're both 0. That's the only time the OR gate will give you a 0 is if they're both uh, zeros. And so in this case, the output signal, output signal is equal to 1. So again, if you think of 1 as true and 0 as false, it seems to be easier, you know, at least for me, let's go over it one more time. So you're entering the AND gate, so you have true and false. They both have to be true in order to get true, so it's going to be false, so it's 0. And then entering the NOT gate, we just take the complement of false, which is true, which is 1. Entering the OR gate, OR is true if at least one of them is true. So we have at least one 1, so we get a 1. So if we have at least one 1 going through the OR gate, we always get a 1. If they're both zeros, then in that case, it's 0. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there in the world who is actually you know, working on this stuff. Good luck.